Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. This one is a little bit different than most of the ones I usually do. Um, that is because this one was requested as a comparison video. Uh, I had uh, recently done a video on a bike tail light uh, and uh, then somebody brought it to my attention that they would like to see what it looks like compared to another brand that's on Amazon. And that is this one here, this Kenny. Uh, and that, uh, let's see, it says uh, Smart IQ 5 and uh, Smart Braking Tail Light. Uh, it's got a few little things here. First, there, it does say that it is waterproof. And that says uh, IP65 waterproof. Power indicator, it has uh, Smart Braking, meaning that supposedly it should feel it when it stops. Uh, it's supposed to have a high level of brightness and. It has, um, let's see, it says reflector lampshade. So I'm guessing there's kind of like some kind of reflecting thing that kind of goes around it to, uh, I don't know, to, to reflect the light back. Just acts like a reflector if the light's not on, maybe. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, well, we've got the light right here, and this is pretty tiny, uh, nice and small. Um, has this, uh, this is like an aluminum bracket. It looks like you've got a couple little Allen screws there to uh, open and close that and cinch it down. And then we've got a handful of little things right here. Uh, let's see, we've got uh, kind of like a mounting thing here. Looks like maybe the back end can go onto that as well. Looks like it screws in, so you could use one or the other of these. Uh, then we've got a charging cord and it looks like the little allen wrench inside the plastic bag here so uh, we're probably going to go ahead and put it on using this so let's see we just assuming just unscrew it yep there we go just unscrew it there's your usb connection right there to recharge it we just screw that back in now uh, as i see there are, oh, well, there we go. There's instructions for it. And of course, they are in Mandarin. Let's see, oh, we do have some, well, nope. Okay, none of that's English. There we go, English on the back. So we've got English, shows a few things. Uh, looks like, yeah, you can charge it from a few different things. Uh, it kind of shows you hooking it up. Uh, one looks like it's somewhere around the the wheel around the frame or something like that maybe and then this one's up here about the seat and uh, then there you go your switch is just this little piece right here this little button we've got the little plastic coating there so uh, boom got the flashing and we've got the little blue lights on the inside I'm not sure what that's about we've got a pulsating Another type of flashing, and then kind of an on, uh, constant on kind of look, and then that looks like it's off, so about four positions. Uh, okay, so since this is a comparison, we're going to go ahead and put this on the bike, and it's going to be right there next to the other one, and we can actually see what they both look like side by side in terms of brightness. Uh, whether this one's brighter than the other one, how well they work, things like that. So uh, we'll be right back and see what it looks like. All right, guys, so there you go. As you can see, uh, this is both lights at rest. The bottom one is the Kenny. The top one is that Vastfire one that I told you about before. Uh, now, of course, Vastfire has that uh, straight across line at the top there, and the Kenny has the round circle with a little kind of dark spot in the middle. Uh, when they both broke, or when I put on the brakes, uh, you could see the both of them uh, got uh, of course very bright uh, One didn't really look like it was much brighter than the other. Uh, I do notice of course 
with the vast fire one not only did that horizontal row light up but there was a vertical row that also lights up so gives it some um, some more lighting in terms of surface area I don't know about the brightness the brightness looked pretty close to me uh, now this is only on one setting and that is only so that I'm doing kind of an apples to apples comparison uh, both of them have different kinds of flashing and things like that but they're not the same and so I don't want that to be uh, something that can manipulate the outcome uh, at all so they're both set to on uh, they're both as you can see roughly about the same brightness as they sit uh, the vast fire has the bar across the top and uh, of course the circle at the bottom for the Kenny uh, and so there it's very much up to you guys uh, which one you might like more I think they both come out very well uh, they you know they're both uh, USB chargeable uh, they both have various settings so if you don't want them to be on all the time you can of course change that anyhow that's gonna do it for me uh, this is well been kind of a different episode than I'm used to doing I'm not used to comparing but uh, it's probably a good idea that we do sometimes huh alright guys that'll do it for me today if you guys uh, like this or want to check these out there will be links to both of these down there in the description below as well as links to all the social media and uh, of course don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and uh, don't forget to ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on world of me all right everybody my name's Cougar this is the world of me another episode from the Amazon review series I'd like to wish you all a good day and I will see you later bye <laughs>